Okay, so let's have a look at the idea of gradient. And gradient is just another word really for slope. So we've got a line here that's sloping upwards if we're going from the left to the right. And we say that the gradient in that case is positive. But if the line was sloping in the other direction, if it was going down from the left to the right, then the gradient is negative. So up is positive and down is negative. And as you might guess, if it's in the middle there, it's zero. And now this also tells us that the symbol for gradient is M. So at this point, M is equal to zero. And that when M is greater than zero, we've got a positive gradient. And when M is less than zero, it's a negative gradient. If we have a look at the values of M, I'll just put it back to a positive position. We can see at this point, it's 0.25. And as we increase the steepness of the curve, we can see that the value of M is increasing down the bottom there. It reaches a value of one when the slope's at a 45 degree angle there. And then it's greater than one as we go past that steepness. As we increase the steepness even more, it increases until we approach a vertical position. It's getting very large values of the gradient there. That's almost vertical. And then as we reach the vertical position, the steepness at this point is infinite, if you like. So we can't really give a value to M. We say that it's undefined because it's an infinite gradient. Now, if we'd gone the other way instead, if we'd started off at zero and had gone the other way, then the slope is now increasing in the negative direction. And in the same way, we'll reach a value of negative one at a 45 degree angle. And then as we increase the steepness even further, it increases further in the negative direction. And again, it's undefined as we reach that vertical position. And to interpret what these values actually mean, let's just turn on the grid. Now, a slope of one or a gradient of one, that we can interpret that as meaning if we start at any point on the line, I'll start here, say, and if we go across to the right by one, then we're going to have to go up by one to stay on the line. So we take a step to the right, we have to take a step up to stay on the line. But if the slope was, say, two, then for every step to the right we take, we have to take two steps up. So we take a step to the right and then we go up by two. And the same with three. It means that for every step we take to the right, we go up by three to stay on the line. And it's the same in the negative direction as well, except we have to go down instead of up. So in this case, when the slope is negative one, it means that for every step to the right we take, we have to go down by one, across by one and down by one. So let's just go to a slope of say negative three. And that means that for every step to the right, we have to go down by three to stay on the curve or to stay on the line. So that's basically is what gradient means. It's positive in that direction. It's negative in that direction. It increases as we increase the steepness of the curve. And it tells us the number of steps we have to take to stay on the curve for every step we take to the right. So that's really just a way of talking about the slope of the lines, of which way they're going, and of how steeply they're going up or down.